Hi my friends, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about pregnancy shaming. Shaming in general. So if you're interested in some of the comments I got in a video that I am responding to that I found on YouTube all about pregnancy shaming, anything else that comes to mind, I don't have a script or anything like that, we're just going off the cuff, please keep watching. For you guys that have been following my pregnancy journey, you know that this is my first baby. I'm in my 40s. I am a former fitness competitor and I was struggling, have been struggling with body image issues while pregnant. I will post the video that I did all about that up there. However, this video is a little bit different. It's about women especially, but people shaming each other for different things during pregnancy, whether it's the way that we dress, whether it's our bumps, if they're too big or too small, whether it's we're working out too much, we're working out not enough, we're eating too much, we're eating for two, we're getting too big, we're not eating enough, we're only feeding our baby salads, how dare we, look at you, you're too skinny, your baby's gonna be unhealthy, and everything that I am sure you guys heard when you're pregnant that I've heard at only 17 weeks pregnant and everything in between. So this video was prompted by a comment that I received when for the very first time I actually got dressed up a couple of weeks ago. I was meeting Adam out for dinner. I decided instead of trying to hide my bump, which I've been trying to do since I started gaining in my midsection, I didn't necessarily look pregnant, but you could tell I was getting thicker. I was grateful that it's the middle of winter. I was able to hide, and I still am able to hide under big jackets, coats, looser fitting things, or at least I think I can. <laughs> I saw this funny TikTok the other day where the girl was visibly like eight months pregnant and she's like what I'm gonna hide it for as long as I possibly can what do you mean people people can't tell it was so funny because it's so me we get in our heads when our bodies are changing so rapidly and that doesn't mean that I'm not enjoying it it doesn't mean that I'm wishing it away it just means that there are so many hormones and emotions that come along with this and I'm being real through it so before you guys tell somebody to relax calm down she doesn't look right she doesn't look the way you look just remember that everybody's different and the last thing that you need to tell somebody when they are feeling insecure or anxious is to relax to chill and to calm down. Frankly, that's probably the most insensitive thing you could do. Regardless, I got dressed up and I figured instead of trying to hide the bump, this was the first time I was going to embrace the bump and show it off. And yes, it's a small bump, but I was still in the moment enjoying it. And for the very first time in 16 weeks, I actually felt sexy. So I put on this tighter little sweater dress it had a high neck, you guys. There were no boobs hanging out. And I put on over the knee boots because here's a fact of life. I am very self-conscious of my legs prior to pregnancy. I just have thicker knees. I have cellulite and I have cankles. Thanks to the movie Shallow Hell, we all know what those are now, but I have very thick ankles. It's genetic. In fact, this is the one and only time in my whole entire 42 years that I have felt comfortable wearing dresses and showing off my legs because it's normal for pregnant women to have swollen legs. People don't judge you for that. And I'm constantly in my head because as I said in my other video, I'm a former fitness competitor, meaning I would stand on a stage and after six months, sometimes a year of rigorous working out and dieting, I would get myself to a point where I would have judges assess my physique and then I would get ranked against the different competitors. I was awarded the title of state champion one year. I was Miss Fitness New Jersey. And because I stood on a stage and I had judges who were judging me for specific things because of my sport, they were trained judges, but everybody else on this planet thought that they could assess me and my physique. I remember one afternoon specifically, we were doing a little birthday party. We had a cake for somebody whose birthday it was at work. And all of us, I'm talking 20 people, everybody on my team was standing in the hallway singing happy birthday and this woman in front of everybody from across the hallway goes, oh, girl, what happened to you? Last week you were like this, literally you guys, she did motions and sound effects. You were like this and this week you're like this. What happened to you? You got fat. I was already in my head about it. I was bloated, I was coming off of a show, you can't stay like that forever, it's unhealthy. So I was already in my head about it, I'm still in my head about it, it's just a fact of life. So finally, I feel comfortable and I put on this dress, and I put on these boots and 
I felt sexy for the first time in 16 weeks. And I post the picture and somebody writes this comment that says, why are you dressing like, was it a hussy? Oh my gosh, what was the word they used? Basically, why are you dressing sleazy? Have more respect for your unborn baby. Now, I have been making YouTube videos since my husband was a lifer inside of prison. You hear lifer inside of prison and you're a judgmental person, you automatically think the worst, you automatically think that he did the worst, and you automatically think all kinds of things about me, my insecurities, this and that. What you didn't realize or you didn't look into was that it was unjust. We were fighting for him to come home. He turned his life around while he was inside. He was helping other people. He was a life coach and that's how he was awarded his release. But I'm telling you that to say, I have heard the worst of the worst of the worst comments online. I tend to laugh them off now every once in a while in a hormonal pregnancy moment or even not an insecure girl moment. One will get to me and it'll sting, but this one didn't bother me. I kind of laughed it off. I'm like, I looked hot that day. Are you kidding me? A hussy? You I live in Las Vegas. I am originally from Long Island in New Jersey. The things that I've seen, I mean, it is not very uncommon to see somebody walking down the street in a thong here. I'm wearing a high neck dress. Yes, it's short. Yes, it's form fitted. Yes, I'm wearing high boots. On what planet is that a hussy? But I just want to respond because I've seen so much pregnancy shaming and I haven't seen enough people talk about it. So I want to respond to this video because I was looking up some stuff to see if anybody else spoke about it. And I found this video by the doctors. Oh my God, you guys, it made my day. So we're going to watch it together and I'm going to respond in real time as we're watching it because I want you guys to know my opinions on it and how I, how grateful I am that it was put out there by them. Unfortunately, we've all heard about fat shaming, but how about pregnancy bump shaming? A 29-year-old mom-to-be named Yoda had to defend her lack of a baby bump to her more than 200,000 Instagram followers recently after receiving a lot of concerned messages. Her reasoning that eventually went viral, she says her uterus was backwards. First of all, everybody's body and bump is different. Some people pop very early, some people pop really late, some people don't pop at all. There's no right or wrong baby bump. It depends on your body, it depends on your genetics, it depends on how many children you've already had, if you've had any before, how strong your abs are. It depends on so many things and this poor girl, I don't know if I play that part, or more specifically, she had a retroverted or tilted uterus, she said was due to an endometrious diagnosis. Dr. Nita, explain. So she actually had a medical condition. She had endometriosis, her uterus kind of inverted, and she's getting shamed for not having a right baby bump, but it's a miracle that she's even pregnant. Endometriosis is when the inside lining of the uterus gets outside of the uterus and that can lead to some scarring. So a woman's uterus can basically just be pointed forward towards her pelvic bone. It could be like all the way like this up. It could be pointed backwards towards her back. She's saying hers was it's pointed backwards. And so when the baby started to grow, it took a little while for the uterus to adjust itself so you could see her baby bump. So mainly it's just about going to the doctor and really getting an ultrasound to make sure that the baby is growing appropriately like that's that's the main thing i mean and you see that all the time every woman is different you yes. see some women who who don't get that big with pregnancy and at just the way what their what is the fascination with pregnancy shaming because i i think we've, we've seen this time and time again where a woman is pregnant and she's on social media and people are almost attacking her because she doesn't look quite like everyone else looks yes. at six months or seven months. Is that something that you've social experienced media. before social media? Is this a social media phenomenon? It is, but I think it's also the fact that people have a poor perception of what a pregnant woman is supposed to look like just because the rate of obesity in America is so high. So people really believe that a pregnant woman is eating for two. A pregnant woman is not eating for two. Like technically. So if you have a normal pre-pregnancy weight, then you should only be gaining about 25 to 35 pounds for a singleton pregnancy during pregnancy, where some women are gaining 60 pounds and things like that. So grandma wants you to gain 80 pounds during pregnancy when you really don't. Misconception that the that's bigger normal. better. Right. That, that I agree with them so much. I'm so grateful for this video. One thing I did hear that popped into my head when she was talking is 
you're not eating for two, meaning you're eating double. You're eating for two, meaning that you should really embrace healthier foods because you're eating for yourself and for developing your baby. So that's something that I've been trying to think about when I want to go for the junky fried food, which thankfully in second trimester, I have had no cravings whatsoever except for healthy food. Believe it or not, I'm gonna do a full second trimester recap later as we get further into the second trimester, but I have tons of notes already. I just think of that and it means the world to me that these doctors are on the same page as me and they're right. It's it's the grandmas, it's the old wives tales, it's the people that are ill-informed that think that you're supposed to lay on the couch, you're supposed to continue to eat, eat for two in the up your calories, eat the crap way, stop working out, don't move. And then that's been handed down from generation to generation to generation. That's why I keep making these videos because we need to spread awareness that that is not a healthy pregnancy. Unless your doctor tells you you need to be eating certain things, you need to be on the couch because of this medical condition, let's not shame anybody for how they're doing pregnancy. Let's normalize a healthy pregnancy. Let's normalize eating for two in the way where you're eating healthy foods because you're eating for yourself and the health of your child. That's always true. That is correct. So it's just about her going to the doctor and having her growth ultrasounds and just making sure the baby is growing appropriately. So you are absolutely right. Let's stop pregnancy shaming. Let's just stop shaming, period. Yeah. You know, you, you post anything on social media. I mean, I'm going to start posting my smart condom results on there. Yeah. They're, they're probably going to be stellar, but I'm still going to get shamed <laughs> for it, right? <laughs> See, and it's one thing if you put your life out on Front Street and you open yourself up to that hatred and that shaming. Somebody always has something to say. Everybody's a know-it-all. Everybody's an armchair OBGYN when you become pregnant and they know the right way to do it. I'm not talking to you guys that I ask for your help and your opinions and I treasure you in the comments. Just wait until I make my heartburn video because you guys literally saved the day. I am not talking to you sweet souls in the comments. I'm talking to the negative Nellies that all of a sudden have an armchair medical degree and tell me that I need to be laying on the couch doing nothing and eating only burritos, tacos, taquitos, lasagna, pizza, bread, fried food, McDonald's, everything else, ice cream, cookies, cake, whatever, junky food, there it is out there, I need to be eating it while watching Netflix, or that my bump's not big enough, or that my bump's too big, that my buck grew too much already. <sighs> this is, a, I guess, a social media, because I have never come across pregnancy shaming, so people are actually out there. Well, you're a man. Shaming women because they don't feel that their baby bumps are looking the right way right you're too big you're too small you have stretch marks you're a regular looking pregnant woman oh that's disgusting oh like and just saying really mean things really when pregnant women are beautiful they're growing a human being yes i mean they're busy trying to repopulate like keep the earth populated right and i had somebody tell me the best 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 comment i need to say in a video she was like Whenever you feel down on yourself, whenever you feel like you're too big, too small, this, that, insecure, you are growing bones. Somebody's bothering you and says, what have you done today? If you moved, blah, 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 say, oh yeah, I'm growing bones and organs. What have you done today? And so Adam started calling me a bone factory. How cute is that? This woman is on the money with that. They're beautiful once again. Just want to throw that out there again. They're beautiful. That's a good thing. Pets post them. Nobody ever shames a pet. Nobody. Because they're always good. That's what I mean. No matter how ugly. Hashtag stop. stop the shaming everyone. No. Yes, that's right. That's right. Oh, 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 oh. He's right. Nobody shames pets. I don't think anybody out there would be shaming a man for growing a beer gut, for having abs, for his midsection not being the right way. Why are we shaming pregnant women? One more time, stop the shaming. I'm absolutely obsessed with that video. You have to remember that just because a woman is pregnant and she's growing a miracle does not mean that it's easy for her. It's not easy to watch your body change rapidly. When a woman who is pregnant gets dressed up and she finally feels good about herself, why are you shaming her? Your opinion might be that that was showing too much skin. That is your opinion. 
I'd like to know what you're projecting. What's going on in your life? Can you not maybe wear over the knee boots? Maybe it's something in your past, the way you were raised that you probably don't even really agree with. It's just something that's coming out within you because your mother told you that or your church told you that, but you don't necessarily agree with it or believe in it. But how dare anybody tell a pregnant woman that she's disrespecting her unborn child when she is doing her best to stay fit, to eat as healthy as possible, to avoid prescriptions that she probably should use, but it's more about her health than the baby's health. She's worried about the baby being healthy. She's worried about hurting the baby in every way you can imagine, but I'm disrespecting my unborn child because I decide to wear a pair of over-the-knee boots. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's love each other more. Let's hurt each other less. Let's look at a picture of a beautiful woman and find perfection instead of flaws. When you look at somebody and you automatically see something like, oh, her butt's big. She's a beautiful woman, but she's got some naggle teeth. Look at how pretty her face is. Too bad she's so heavy set. Oh, she'd be so much prettier if she straightened her hair. Your talking about yourself. Mother Teresa said it best. When you judge another person, you it has nothing to do with them. Nothing to do with them at all. You are judging yourself. Stop hating yourself so much. Start loving yourself and you'll start seeing the beauty in other people. I don't want to make this too long. I love you guys so very much and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.